For a second look at the impact of uh, a stripper header for harvesting cereal stubble and the effect that it has on the amount of uh, snow that drifts. This is a similar video. Uh, it's the identical location to where I was, uh, um, I guess, a week and a half, two weeks ago. And we've had a lot of snow that's fallen in the meantime, a lot of blowing snow. And uh, so let's take a look and uh, see how things look now. So here we are. This again is along the shelter belt. And you can see that the snow has blown, you know, through the trees, but it's about the height of the, uh, the crown of the road. You can see. And now as we're getting into the field area, where there are fewer trees, we can actually see that the snow level is about two to three times higher. Suddenly, the amount of snow that has been packed by the blade of the uh, grater further left, and the snow was hardly the height of the crown of the road. So you can see again how even um, you know the, uh, the stripper header being used in a 75-foot area, along with alternating bands in the field, has resulted in more snow being trapped in the field and less snow being blown into the ditch. I actually think that if four people were to do this, the MD should actually give us a discount because these roads would have to be graded uh, less frequently and perhaps at a faster speed than the, uh, than the uh, roads that have the uh, blown, uh, blown snow in it. Anyways, if anything else shows up over the winter, I'll certainly keep you guys posted. Thank you.